Namaste and welcome to today's episode. Hormones are chemical messengers. They communicate our well-being or information about our health through different parts of our body. Now, hormones, how do they, they work? They communicate the communi- uh, there are com- communication messengers which communicate the information either within the cells or between two cells or between different tissues. They are released by our glands. We all know about our major HPTAG axis. Uh, which releases different hormones in response to different lifestyle or different situation we are in. So it all depends upon how we want a lifestyle to be, how we want a body to react, and hence the hormones are re- released. The hormones are not bad. Okay, these are uh, it's a way our body communicate with the rest of the body. Okay, so if hormones are imbalanced, you'll have a lot of miscommunication happening. Now, if you have miscommunication, you will have organs or tissues not working the way they should ideally be working and that's when the problem arises now uh, it is re- so hormones what happens is uh, there is something known as homeostasis so our body always seeks balance that is the key job of our body so for example uh, if you have uh, when you when you uh, the body releases stomach acid in the parietal cells body also releases s- similar amount of bicarbonate through the pancreatic enzyme so that the body is not too acidic or not too acrid. Similarly, um, when the body releases uh, estrogen, which is a female hormone, it also releases, releases progesterone. So they both work in tandem to uh, balance each other. Now, uh, usually our progesterone and estrogen is produced in our ovaries in females and that's what we, we discussed today about menstrual pain and what are the reasons that can be uh, behind these pains. But when the body releases estrogen, it also releases progesterone so that there is a balance. Now, if there is an imbalance, imbalance caused by, uh, for some reason, your progesterone levels are low. It is not released the way it should be. Or for some reasons, you are releasing too much of estrogen. There is an imbalance between both. And that can lead to what we call estrogen dominance. And that can lead to a lot of other uh, downward issues that we face in today's world. Why does it happen and what can we do? So please understand, uh, a, a female starts a menstrual cycle from an age when she achieves puberty till the time of menopause. And during this phase, uh, there is a monthly cycle that uh, a woman passes through, usually somewhere around 26 to 28 days. So from your day one to your mid-cycle is known as follicular phase and from mid-cycle to the end of the cycle is known as a luteal phase. Now, during the luteal phase, when you start which is around day 14 of your cycle, that's when you feel vibrant because the progesterone level starts to go up. Your energy level goes up. Your mood uh, uh, is improving. And when day 21 onwards, your progesterone starts to fall because the, the cell has not been hatched. Uh, that's when uh, the estrogen starts to move so that the new cell can be made and the progesterone level goes down. And that's where you have this imbalance. Now, this is where week 21, uh, day 21 or day 22 to day 28 is where what we call uh, a PMS where we will... A uh, lot of women have started seeing uh, pain uh, during this phase. Now, why do we have such pain? The basic reason is there is an imbalance between progesterone and estrogen. Please remember, progesterone is and estrogen is made in ovaries primarily. Post menopause, uh, your progesterone is not made, but your estrogen is made in your adipose tissue, in your fat tissue. So, if you have more body fat, your ability to uh, produce more estrogen is high. Secondly, the liver needs to detoxify all the estrogen that has been used and has to move out. So if your bile function is not right or somebody who do not have a, a gallbladder and the bile function is not proper or somebody who's got a congested liver where the liver is not able to detoxify the, uh, the end uh, toxins, you will might have a concentration of more estrogen. And secondly, you also have because of the lifestyle you have. So if you're using a lot of plastics, uh, which has got xenoestrogen or phytoestrogen, if you're using a lot of cosmetic, which has got chemically laden, which are which has got hormone mimicry or which has got uh, chemicals which mimics the uh, the role of a uh, estrogen, you might have an imbalance in your body. Now, how how uh, uh, hormones work? Uh, hormones are released or they are uh, absorbed in the body, especially through our skin. Okay, so it is very imperative that you look at what products you are putting on your skin. Now, the hormones are released. Uh, they travel through blood throughout our body and our body has got what we call receptors, hormone receptors. Now, hormone receptors are like, uh, for example, if uh, if a hormone is a 
मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन रिसेप्टर्स आर योर मोबाइल टावर्स विच टू विच दिस हॉर्मोन्स इज अटैच एंड इट कन्वेज इज मेसेज टू द बॉडी एंड द बॉडी हेंस रिस्पॉन्ड अकॉर्डिंगली now what happens in uh, what you've seen is lot of uh, women have started complaining about uh, pms now right? it was not something that was uh, there 20 30 years back but now it has become a big big problem uh, so how do you see what you see is lower abdomen pain somewhere around a week six days before your uh, monthly cycle uh, it can start from a mild pain and it can go to a throbbing pain uh, you might feel pain through your thighs and it moves down to your legs uh you have pain in your uh, lower back okay uh it can cause nausea it can cause a feeling of vomiting in some people it can cause headache uh, it also causes migraine in people because that's where the imbalance is happening uh people become more irritable you you get angry you have huge mood swings because that's what estrogen does to your body and in some cases if there's an extreme case people have been seen to have fainted during this time but that happens rarely now why uh, why does uh, all of a sudden pms or this pain or menstrual pain or cramps have become a big problem please understand uh, our menstrual cycle has increased okay so we if you look at the earlier part of the century versus now uh, we are attaining menstrual age puberty is coming early so you have more menstrual cycle the more menstrual cycle the more blood loss the more hormones imbalance and the more body has to function okay the the age has gone up okay so our uh, we are living longer so our menstrual window has increased so there's nothing wrong in it it's just that this is also putting uh, uh, asking the body to uh, react or um, act in a different manner this if is not supported by our lifestyle is causing these problem it is also caused when you are uh, heavy you are overweight or your body fat percentage is high because estrogen is produced in your adipose tissues as well it also happens if you have uh, been smoking or if you have a habit of alcohol and we have seen that uh, smoking as a trend and alcohol as a trend has increased in our society so all this has a cascading effect somewhere down the line on your body um, it also happens in some medical cases something like if you have a fibroid if you have cyst if you have endometriosis where the endometrial lining is is growing outside the body so that's where the body is trying to uh work faster it is not getting eliminated and it is getting accumulated in some body now uh, we have adenomyosis where there is a growth of certain tissue which is non cancerous in nature but that is also causing pain during your uh, uh, food it also happens uh, if you have a heavy flu heavy flu because you have been too much stressed about this uh, your lifestyle has made you to uh, release more hormones and hence uh, you you're getting these pains um uh, you can also have a pain because of the example cyst in in a body now cyst are natural okay they are formed which are a natural way because that's how a cyst is formed if it's hatches uh, the cycle is completed if not they get burst but when there are multiple cysts forming and they are forming bigger or they do not burst that's where it can lead to a problem when you have a during your period cycle now what we do uh, whenever we have uh, this pain uh, we rely on certain things like we use a castor oil pack we use a hot water bottle or we take some painkillers what we are doing with this is we are just trying to treat the symptom which is causing this so if you treat the symptom the symptom is subsided for some time but it will again bounce back next month what do you need to do you need to look at what are the root causes for it how can you balance your hormones uh, so couple of things that you can do okay uh, besides uh, speaking to your uh, gynecologist or your doctor or your practitioner or your coach to help you understand what is really causing it and how you can support first is exercise okay do small stretching exercise yoga poses uh, deep breathing exercises meditation is something that really balances your body because it puts you from a sympathetic nervous system to a parasympathetic nervous system the moment you move here the the adrenal gland which releases adrenaline or which releases the the so called stress hormone and then it releases the anti stress hormone which is cortisol the balance becomes proper now please remember uh, adrenal is a master gland so it it can override function of each and every hormone in the body so if your body is releasing uh, estrogen and progesterone which is imbalanced it can also be because you have too much stress in your body because the master gland is making you stay and treat the sympathetic nervous system so what you need to do is 
मेडिटेट यू नीड टू डू डीप ब्रीदिंग यू नीड टू डू सम लाइट स्ट्रेचिंग योगा सिंपल वॉक विच मेक्स यू एक्टिव विच विच रिलीजेज एंडोमोफिन रिलीजेज ऑक्सीटोसिन डोपोमिन विच हेल्प यू टू स्लीप बेटर सो यू फील गुड हॉर्मोन्स आर रिलीज एंड यू आर बैलेंसिंग वॉट योर लाइफ साइकिल इज वॉट यू कैन ऑल्सो टू इज टेक कंकॉक्शन ऑफ हर्बल टीज लाइक टर्मरिक जिंजर फेनिल स्टार सी वन ऑफ द बेस्ट दैट आई लाइक इज यू टेक इक्वल पोर्शन ऑफ कोरियांडर फेनल एंड क्यूमिन मिक्स इट विथ टर्मरिक सम मैश जिंजर स्टार एन इज एंड यू बॉइल अ स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ इट इन अ कप ऑफ वॉटर एंड कीप ड्रिंकिंग इट थ्रू आउट द डे दैट हेल्प्स टू रिलीव द पेन दैट हेल्प्स टू बैलेंस uh the the hormone imbalances that you have in your body since it is anti inflammatory anti uh, uh oxidative stress so it helps you to balance your uh, pain what you should also do is uh, people resort to lot of drinking alcohol uh, coffee tea uh, during this time saying that that relieves the pain these are stimulants they will cause you to be more diuretic they will ask your body to drink more water they will cause there are tannins in it so this will stimulate your organ that will release adrenaline that will release cortisol and that will again cause a lot of imbalance so avoid intake of tea coffee or anything which has got caffeine in it herbal teas very good i think one of the best is what we discussed the cfc uh, uh, concoction with uh, turmeric star and uh, other stuff uh, you should also look at your hemoglobin levels okay because when you start Uh, your menstrual cycle, you have a heavy bleeding. You you lose blood, and that has to come back. Your iron level goes down. Your ferritin level goes down. So if that is not there, your body's ability to fight, uh, to handle the situation, will goes down. So check your hemoglobin level. Look at your vitamin D level because it's a pro hormone. Look at uh, levels of uh, your vitamin A. Also, you should look at taking some multivitamins if if that is something your body is lacking on. But again. take only when it has been advised by somebody who who can practice who who has a understanding of what is causing the problem in your unique body things like pineapple things like pomegranate things like uh, tomatoes raisins uh, soaked overnight soaked raisin with uh, saffron amazing things that you should start taking a week prior to uh, while they should be taken throughout but a week prior to your uh, cycle mm-hmm. is a very good idea somebody who's been suffering from deep pain taking flexi powder because it got it has got what we known as phytoestrogen a phytoestrogen att- attaches itself to the estrogen receptors and ensuring that the re- estrogen is not there and whatever extra estrogen is there it is moving out of your body ensure you are hydrating yourself and ensuring that you have got enough fiber in your diet so that you are not constipated during this time so this will ensure that your estrogen which is not utilized is moved out of the body so taking 1 to 2 tablespoon of flexi powder is a very good idea uh, at least a week to 10 days prior to your uh, period cycle things like walnuts things like cashew nuts things like uh, almonds uh, peanuts good source of omega 3 which balances the inflammation of caused by omega 6 so adding a fistful of nuts in your diet is a very good idea during this time uh you have to also uh, uh, look at balancing a high protein non veg meal so avoid eating too much of non veg during the last week because you want your body to help you heal and these takes more time for digestion they takes uh, they create more uh, impact on your gut and hence you might have a problem so avoiding that and having a light food is a good idea um, for people most important okay uh, is managing your sleep okay Uh, what we do is uh, we try to watch tv we watch web series we are on social media especially in the night because that's the time we feel that we have time to connect with the world if your sleep cycle is not right remember no matter what you do you will not have a balanced uh, hormones in your body uh, sleep is the most important thing that i always tell people if you can fix any one thing in your body uh, from a habit it should be sleep if you want to fix anything from your eating habit it should be a chewing uh, process so sleep is very important 6 to 7 to 8 hours of deep as in uh, deep sound sleep is very very important so you'll have different cycles of sleep which is your rem sleep light sleep deep sleep but 7 6 to 7 to 8 hours of sleep especially at a fixed time so by 10 to 7 hours 5 o'clock in the morning is a, the ideal time for you to sleep every day for the rest of your life and the moment you start doing it you will see in couple of months 
your hormone starts to balance properly. So hormones are not bad. There is no problems uh, or there's not much of a problem until there's a medical condition for you. When it comes to hormones, when it comes to menstrual cycle, when it comes to cramps and pain, it is about putting everything in alignment, get a balance across your body. We'll talk a detail about estrogen and progesterone cycle in the next video. But I think managing these steps would be the first step toward managing a very uh, natural and a pain-free process uh, every month. Have a wonderful day everyone and we'll catch up soon. Namaste.